Ron Donaire, and I'm the CEO of Intuzi, and I have with me today Sam Lee, CEO of Delivered Media. Uh, Sam has managed bill, uh, millions of dollars on DSP spend, previously spearheading the Amazon DSP strategy for companies such as Thrasio, Unilever, and Bl uh, Blue Buffalo Pet Food. Sam, welcome to the Data Dive In. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you have cooking at Delivered in 2023? Yeah, for sure. So um, Delivered, um, we're a bit of a boutique agency. We do all things Amazon. Um, I started as a consultant there, just helping them build out their DSP strategy and add it, add it to their service offerings. Um, and going into this year, I mean, ultimately, I'm just looking to capitalize on the baseline that they've built and it kind of expand us specifically in the DSP space, but um, all across the Amazon platform. I think that um, we're, in, we're entering a really interesting time and it's going to be sink or swim for a lot of different businesses. So we're ultimately just helping to make sure our clients swim. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, consultant to CEO, you got, you must be pretty good. at. <laughs> um, so I'm going to ask a few questions about kind of like the industry, kind of some, some of the things that our clients have been interested in. Um, uh, so uh, brands and clients in the industry as a whole are interested in understanding how they maximize the usage of Amazon DSP. How would you direct them to maximize their ROI for their campaigns? Yeah, for sure. I mean, first and foremost, you got to get creative. Um, there is no blanket strategy that's going to work across every brand or every product within the DSP. And the beauty of the DSP is the ability to leverage all of Amazon's ASINs. So you think about the potential targeting strategies for any given brand or product and they're, they're limitless. Um, so if you're really falling into um, a rhythm where you're running the same strategy across products and across brands, uh, you're really missing a huge opportunity. I think that a lot of agencies and brands kind of fall into this trap where they'll run a basic retargeting strategy. They'll maybe incorporate some in-market audiences They'll do similar things across their brands and products. And it's, it's really just a waste. Um, ultimately, Amazon does have a lot of pre-curated audiences that you can leverage that can be really useful. But I'm a big advocate of making your own. Um, not only just to serve ads that people are familiar, to people who are familiar with your brand and have seen your products, but you can leverage any product to find people that are going to be relevant to your brand. Whether you sell on Amazon or whether you don't, that first party data is extremely valuable and you want to get creative with the way not only that you build audiences based on ASINs, but things like look back windows. How long does somebody usually take after viewing your product in a purchase decision cycle? Um, what are some complementary products that people might buy who would also be interested in your product? What are your competitors doing? And really get creative with the ASINs on Amazon and how you leverage them for your brand. Um, one common question is about incrementality. Um, like if you're running pure retargeting, how many of these people would have come back and purchased anyways? Mm -hmm. um, that's a tough question to answer. And as such, you want to diversify your targeting strategy to make sure that you're not only cleaning up anybody that views your product detail pages and doesn't buy, but you want to get as many people as possible to enter that funnel um, through targeting. I mean, you can really target any portion of the funnel within the DSP and you want to make sure that your strategy is cohesive and not just blindly following um, the return on ad spend numbers that can be easily influenced just by running super low funnel. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, that's, that's super informative. Uh, you mentioned, uh, using, you know, leveraging first party data. Uh, can you talk a little bit about like what kind of data can be uploaded into the system? Is it like uh, mobile ad IDs, e hash emails, uh, you know, previous purchases, what, what can a customer uh, upload into the system in order to, to fully leverage their, their targeting? That's a good question. So when I say first party data, maybe I misspoke. So again, utilize your own audience list. You can upload into the DSP to create custom audiences based on things like emails. Uh, you can attach pixels to your site and you can retarget people based on those pixels. You can create lookalike audiences through the DSP, similar to what you can through Facebook. But mostly what I'm referring to is utilizing Amazon's data and their browsing behavior to find your customers. You can utilize your own data. You can upload it. It can be effective if you're a large enough brand. Um, but mostly what I'm referring to is actually utilizing Amazon's data, data. Um, and browsing behavior based on it being pretty open in our, its ability to do that. Mm -hmm. You can take any ASIN create any look back window and create an audience based on that, just using Amazon's data. 
Um, and that's a, that's an easy way to kind of piggyback off of maybe more established brands in order to find your target audience. Yeah, I mean that that makes that makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you're kind of like this niche up and coming brand trying to make a name, totally. for yourself, you probably have less data than some you know a well established player in the space. Um, Absolutely, and even if you are a well established player in the space, there are often complementary spaces that have other well well established players that might also be used to find your target audience. Let's say you sell dog food. You can target the number one dog toy, number one dog treat, purchasers or views to find somebody that is likely interested in your product due to you being fully able to identify who they are. Well, I spend a lot of money on my dog, probably only second <laughs> on my children. So that's that's there you go. A, a way of targeting. Um, so a bit 100%. of a generalized question. Um, deprecation of cookies and increased privacy controls have been on the forefront of all conversations uh, in marketing. Traditional targeting has been turned on its head. How do you suggest clients navigate around these uncharted waters? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, we've already seen somewhat of a mass migration of marketing tactics as a whole for this reason, right? I mean, at the same time as apps like TikTok are gaining a lot of steam, um, companies like Apple, Google, Facebook are imposing privacy measures and ultimately losing a lot of data that was kind of the bread and butter of what marketing tactics were based on previously. Um, so if anything, I think that this is something that gets touched on a lot, but making sure that you have a dialed in omni-channel marketing strategy, you can't solely rely on customer data the way that you could before. And as such, you need to make sure that you have a cohesive brand strategy, make sure you're well positioned to make sure that you invest heavily in your creative assets, your branding imagery, make it consistent. And then you're able to push that out across several marketing channels and I think that you need to make sure that all of those things are dialed in and then honestly, just utilize whatever uh, platforms your ideal customer demographic tends to use. Um, I think that being able to, having a, a tougher time identifying your target demographic purely based on browsing behavior is almost a gift and a curse because those those brands that, identi that actively invest in their creative and their branding seem to win because they can just leverage more channels. So the more that you put into differentiating your brand via creative assets, via brand messaging, uh, the more that these additional channels kind of unlock themselves for you and become applicable. And the more you can utilize things like influencers. And then lastly, um, which we've already touched on, I think that utilizing data from companies like Amazon, I think is really heavily underutilized. I think that brands that don't even sell on Amazon aren't aware that they can tap into Amazon's data as a way to find their uh, customer demographic. And being able to utilize that type of browsing behavior is just as valuable, if not more valuable than what cookies and um, all these other things used to do for other marketing channels. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Omni-channel omni strategy is incredibly important. You know, the, the uh, assessing all the different channels and kind of like how it how it affects each individualized brand is, is, is I mean, it's really personalized. Uh, you can't take kind of a blanket approach to it. Um, you know, us at Intuzi, we focus on in-app mobility data to kind of map yep. behavior. Um, but, you know, things like, you know, uh, uh, search, uh, connected television, as you mentioned, yep. answers, also incredibly important. Um, how how would you recommend that brands kind of start testing multiple uh, omni-channel approaches? How, how how do you take a, a you know kind of like an infinite number of avenues and kind of narrow it down to your your most effective? Yeah, I mean it's all about product market fit, right? Um, we have clients that sell a lot of different things. Some are, for lack of a better term, sexier than others. Some are more widely ap applicable than others. There are some products that have great branding and that everyone could use. They just don't know about it yet. And for them, there really are limitless opportunities of where they can advertise. And for other brands, they have a very specific market segment. It's all about knowing who you're selling to. Like, is your key demographic on TikTok or are they not? Are they big Amazon shoppers? Are they not? Is connected TV going to be something that's um, applicable to the people that you want to target or is it not? I think it's, it's first and foremost about knowing your consumer demographic and working backwards from there. I think that Based on targeting strategies, most channels, most of the common ones anyways, can be pretty effective. But the better you know your brand and your consumer demographic, the easier that decision is to make. Awesome. Awesome. 
Um, so you've recently been given the reins of Delivered Media as CEO. What is the mark that Sam Lee will be imprinting on the company as you lead it into the future? Honestly, man, I'm, I'm not looking to reinvent the wheel here. I came into Delivered because I already liked what they were doing. Um, they provided an excellent service for their clients. They are very intentional about the work that they do and who they work with. And ultimately, as such, they were so client focused that they just needed somebody to get the word out there and to help them grow. I'm not looking to come in and change everything that they're doing. I'm simply coming in to better convey that message to more people and help to grow the business. I, I really don't think that they needed a ton of help in terms of what they do for their clients. It's just a matter of helping to convey that message and helping them improve on what they've already built out. Awesome. Well, effective communication is important. And uh, it, it sounds like uh, you're, you're good at what you do and making sure that you're in front of people. That's the number one thing when it comes to, to running a business. So uh, well, congratulations on your new, new position. Thanks so much. You know? um, and if viewers wanted to get in touch with you at Delivered, how, what's the best way of doing so? Yeah, I mean, um, LinkedIn, super easy. Uh, my email is sam.lee at deliveredmedia.com. And then you can always just go to deliveredmedia.com. So pretty okay. straightforward. Awesome. Well, Sam, thank you so much for being on the segment today. We really appreciate it. And looking forward to talking again soon. Thanks a lot, my man. I appreciate it.